Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my new root tutorial. Today uh, we will um, do what I promised last time. We will um, we will try to understand how to create our own user-defined functions. And for this we create, I think, a new file first because this is not related to what we have done before. So um, we already reached 2.12, so we call it uh, 2.12. Um, now we uh, can create already a canvas because later we want to plot something so um, it's always good to do it in the beginning and now we don't want to use the histogram or graph but we want to uh, create and plot a function so the class that we need is tf1 if you remember uh, we have used it also for creating a fit function but now we use a to create a function not related to any fit but just um, any uh, arbitrary function so we name it uh, let's suppose func um, and um, <coughs> again we have to set first the name func and um, then we have to define the function. Huh? So we can either use a predefined function like Gauss or Pol012 and so on, which we have used before. But now we want to uh, make one function from the scratch. So we have to define parameters in this way. Um, <coughs> so we have to start with parameter 0, then parameter 1 comes, and uh, x has to be simply defined with the value x. Um, so this is one of the easiest functions that we can define. We have uh, basically um, yeah, a linear dependency between x and y. And at the end, if we plot this, we should get just a straight line. We also have to define, like last time, the interval. So let's suppose we want to draw it from 0 to 5. And uh, yeah, more we don't have to do. Now we can just write func draw and then we will see what happens uh, root to 12 dot c yeah here in the title you see the function as we have defined it but uh, you don't see the straight line uh, so um, something else has to be added um, and uh, of course we have set two parameters but root doesn't know anything about them if we make a fit it defines the parameter by itself uh, by fitting but now there's no fit so we have to define it by ourselves um, so func the same command that we have used last time the same function set parameter and parameter 0 should have for example the value 1 and um, the parameter 1 the slope basically should have the value 2 and now we can again plot it and uh, now we should see exactly the line that we wanted to have. Huh? So this was a very simple example. Um, so maybe we can make it a little bit more complicated. So um, let's suppose we want to draw a sign uh, together with an exponentially decrease uh, amplitude. Huh? Like when you have an uh, oscillator with friction, for example. So the function for the exponential or the, um, the, the, the exponential function is defined as x um, because it should decrease so we have to make a minus here and the name of this parameter should be 1 or the number of this parameter should be 1 um, times and then the parameter 0 this is the amplitude times sine of x huh? we don't want to set any other parameter for the time being I think it's already starting to get complicated enough we want to start at zero and we want to go up five periods maybe we want to draw so um, we can either set the value here um, in, in a float number or a double number but um, root already implements some constants like for example t math is the class and then we can take the static value uh, or the static function pi which is then 3.14 and so on um, and of course we can write 10 times so we make five complete periods and now uh, maybe we should also change the parameter values to see the plot a little bit more in uh, more clear uh, yeah, okay maybe one we can let here as the uh, amplitude but for the exponential decreasing factor we can maybe set 0 0.1 and if we plot it very nicely you can see here the sine function with the exponentially decrease uh, decreasing um, amplitude uh, and of course if we don't like this title 
we can uh, either change the title um, or we can uh, completely remove it set title uh, so we make an empty title and uh, if we plot it again now then this should be gone and like last time you can just um, set the X title Y title you can change the font the size and so on no matter uh, what you want to add it's possible um, whether you are plotting a graph a histogram or whatever it's just the same every time um, only some details you have to know the rest you can do basically easily automatic okay <clears throat> so um, before continuing on this uh, there is another possibility to define a function uh, this uh, this I will show in the next video and then after this I will tell because I was asked about it uh, I will explain how to export such a graph um, yeah in in special formats you can export it as PNG as PDF or for example as LaTeX and uh, when you want to insert this in your own publication uh, or in thesis then it's good that the font sizes and the font type is matching with the one of your paper and these things I will explain in one of the next videos okay so I hope you learned now um, sufficiently how to create your own user-defined function you can try this for some other function that whatever comes to your mind you can test it uh, you can also use this then for fitting it to some data point which you will also do in one of the next videos so um, yeah for the time being I think we should close it um, and uh, please uh, stay tuned for the next videos uh, I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for your attention and uh, see you next time